Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Rollercoaster Tycoon 2 is a lot of fun to play, but every now and then something annoying happens that makes you rethink your entire life. In this video I will go over 10 of the most annoying things. Number 1. Look mom, I can fly. Some coaster types, like the bobsled coaster, will fly off the tracks and crash if they go over a hill too fast. This isn't really a big deal as you can test the ride and fix it if it goes flying. However, sometimes a ride is fine during testing and even with a standard load of guests. But then after a while it gets a particularly heavy load of guests, goes too fast and ends up crashing anyway. I suppose that is a good motivator for your guests to stay in shape. Number 2. Vomit Slip and Slide You've just built a great wild mouse coaster that is drawing in the guests and will make you a lot of money. After you have admired your work you go do something on the other side of the park, until you see your park rating has absolutely plummeted. You come back to the wild mouse and find vomit absolutely everywhere and for some reason your handyman just decided to take a nap or something instead of cleaning it up like they're supposed to. Number 3. It's a trap. Speaking of the park rating plummeting to depths never achieved before, sometimes you look around and there seems to be no reason at all for the terrible park rating. That is, until you finally see it. You've accidentally trapped a lot of guests somewhere and it's killing your rating. Even worse, when you finally release them from their suffering, they will most likely want to leave the park and go home. Number 4. So close. You've been working on your park for a while and it's going fairly well, but when the deadline approaches you notice that it's gonna be close. You do everything in your power to make sure that you get enough guests to beat the scenario, but you end up missing the goal by just a few guests. It's even worse when you realize that you didn't save anywhere along the way. Number 5. I'm not paying that much. You've just built an awesome coaster that guests for some reason want to pay 10 bucks for to ride it, making you a lot of money. After a while you check back in on the coaster and notice that for some reason it has an empty queue line. You check the guests thoughts and find out that they don't want to pay that much anymore because the ride has aged a bit and the coaster has been sending out empty trains for quite some time already. Number 6. Get off my lawn! Sometimes you've built a ride and it just doesn't fit the park anymore or you want to replace it with a different ride. After you've demolished the ride there is still some path left behind that you also need to remove. The problem is that guests and staff keep walking onto the path and if you demolish it with them on it they'll become lost on the grass because they have the brain the size of a peanut and can't see the path right next to them. Number 7. Insane Intensity It's a lot of fun to build a big coaster with a lot of big drops and intricate interlocking inversions that just keeps going and going. It's not so much fun to find out that your masterpiece actually has 14 intensity because it has 10 inversions and takes a few corkscrews at a speed that is slightly too fast for comfort. Number 8. Shut up and take my money. Parks where you charge for the rides are great because you make a lot of money, but if you don't have the ATM available it can be seriously annoying. Guests will burn through their money and without a way to get more they will leave your park very quickly. Crazy Castle is a good example of this, as even if you only research stalls at maximum funding it takes a year to get the ATM. Number 9. Terrible Park Value So you're playing a scenario with a park value goal where you charge for the entrance. You're doing fairly well but are not making too much money and every time you build a ride it takes a while before you can afford the next one. 
The problem is that by the time you can build the next ride, the previous ones have lost so much value that your park value is no higher than before, getting you no closer to the goal. This cycle can continue for a long time and it is why it took me 7 years to complete Gravity Gardens the first time I tried it. And number 10. No heart for the heart line. Building roller coasters is one of the most enjoyable things you can do in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. This includes building a cool hardline twister coaster, as it's really unique and provides an interesting challenge. However, when the stats come back they're always incredibly disappointing. Seriously, more than 9 intensity and less than 4 excitement for this design, you gotta be kidding me. And that were all 10 annoying things in this video. Let me know in the comments which one is the worst and which ones I forgot. Of course these things are an integral part of the game and overcoming them is quite satisfying, but at the time that they happen they can be super frustrating. If you liked this video consider giving it a like. You can also subscribe or follow me on Twitch. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.